Welcome back to EAFC Gameplay Analysis. My name is John. I'm a top 1% player in this game, a professional EAFC coach. And today we're going to be breaking down what I do to improve, and hopefully this helps you. I've taken players from Division 7 all the way into the pro scene. This is the strategy. This is my system. This is the real way to improve. If you guys like this content, if you find something that value today, make sure you guys drop a like. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. Are you struggling to make and keep coins in EAFC? Well, now with Foot Alert, the FC Mark is integrated with ChatGPT on the Foot Alert web app. You can ask Footy, the AI assistant, any question, and he will give you back an answer to make and keep coins and trade. Being developed by a top 100 EAFC trader, they have trained the AI to help you make coins in the smartest way possible. But that's not all it does. With new features being released every week and a flipping alert list to let you know when your coins have been made, you can get easy answers to trading questions every day. So check the link below and get started trading on FC with AI. We are partnering with uh, Foot Alert, so we're really excited about this. Changed into FCAlert.ai, but uh, it's it's an AI bot that we're training. I'm a I'm a good trader, and we have a top another top 100 trader. Uh, that is basically we're training the AI. So if you guys need help for, you know, we're really planning to be launched for FC 25. Okay, right away, he comes into this spot. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He tries to double dink, and now we're going to rotate into this spot. We're going to zone out that position. Eh, it's a tough angle. He's looking for that ball roll. He's looking for a shot there. There's a dink pass over the top. Shot and shot, and he's just trying to be a little mechanical here. He's playing a little mechanical, so we slow it down. We don't we don't overutilize our uh, our break point there. Oh my gosh! And then I see that jump. So where my eyes are going is right on. I'm just trying to hit Drogba right as he hits that back line. His whole back line jumps down the second that happens. Uh, last season you could probably get away with that. I don't need to do that. Um, I've been trying to test some of these over the top balls a little bit more lately. He tries to use a nice little mechanic. We win it. Easy, easy. I look for the break point, get him to commit. Here's the turn. Here's the rotation. And I make a really bad pass. I'm looking down here. I'm looking down here. I'm not actually looking up here. So when I make that pass, and so I don't see him jump in there, I should cancel that out. Here comes the drop down. Play comes into the interior. We're double, 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 double. We're going to be closing that space down. And right on that, there we go. Patience. Now we turn and rotate. Ah, I don't need to be coming in there. I don't need to be going in there. Too, too aggressive, too aggressive, too aggressive. And then the far post. He's trying to hit a finesse shot post. Uh, this is the type of guy that's probably really good at the beginning of the game uh, when exploits are there because I've already seen him try to utilize multiple exploits. We're just being patient here. We're double We're double turning. Oh, I almost had the incisive pass here. So if I have uh, if I use R1X here, I think I get this through. I think I get this through. I had him on the ground. Look look at that. I had him bounded. Uh, that, that should go through. Yeah, if that's R1X, that goes through. He's really lucky on the power power curve there. Uh, we're pulling Charles down for some reason. I don't mean to do that. So right there, we're just trying to pull that play up. I see him go for the player lock, double dink pass. Here comes the interior, and he makes a bad play, bad play. So we be patient, be patient. And I'm trying to, I see his fullback out, so I try to attack that right away with that, that weird uh, mechanic. I don't like to use those mechanics. I really don't. Um, but when I've seen my, my opponent utilizing a lot of mechanical stuff, it almost means that you need to max, maximize some more efficiency, but we close that down. Uh, this is, this is me kind of throwing a fake. So what I really want to do here is he's going to be doing, he's going to be hitting me with that a lot. I want Zambrota instead of go from this side to this side. So if people think the AI is too good, it's not, look at this. This is a really dumb place to go. He needs to go to the interior. And so he doesn't, and so I have to manage that pass. So he wants to hit that pass rather than the shot. So now I'm trying to close down both, and I'm trying to stay in both lanes. So we stay in both lanes, and so we give him only one option, and that's to kind of shoot it, and he doesn't, right? He, Oh, man, he's very mechanical. So he plays all the way back. Here comes the interior. This guy's really pretty quick. Here we take the space off of a drug butt attack. There we dodge, and we're kind of moving. Now we're waiting for Charles. We're waiting for Charles, waiting for Charles. There's Charles. Ah, barely off, barely off, not offside, but barely off on the pass. Um, where is it? Yeah. So you can look at this animation. It's going this way. It technically needs to like, uh, I, I need, a, I need an L1 triangle that and I, I just don't like to, 
I don't need, like, I shouldn't because it's not as efficient, right? But here we go, drop down, drop down, drop down. The ball goes out wide. Here's the interior. Here's the interior. Watch him for the interior. We're good right there. Bang. There we go. There's a step. Easy enough ball roll away. Almost. Patience, patience, patience. Let him come to you. Patience, patience, patience. Big switch. And we're not looking at the player. And then I'm spamming. So first 20 minutes, I talk about this all the time. We're trying to figure out our opponent. I'm playing terrible right now. Not playing with wit. Not playing a game. Um, I'm just trying to force things, which I don't need to force. Don't need to, right? So here we go. We're waiting for that position. Our defense is usually pretty rock solid, but our attack is gets a little a little hazy so he shoots a far post yeah so uh he, he's definitely a mechanical exploiter so so when you see this stuff it's just uh i can explain the mechanic it's just dude no nobody ex nobody sh nobody's doing this man this is like a world shot this is a world-class shot this happens like once a year so he double touches and so he's trying to set this up so if he hits that so there's the touch he's Way outside the byline, dude. That's that's ridiculous. But look at where my goalkeeper's position is. And so the game references the far post. Very, very annoying. And so then he acts like he's the, the god of gods with with Haji. But okay, Hagi. Okay, I think uh, I think we're about to actually get... Ah, oh, man. What are you doing? So look at this. So if you look right here, I'm trying... I want to go... I want to go here. And I'm making the wrong creative run. I saw this yesterday. I was doing this all day yesterday. I was just making the wrong creative runs. Like all day long. All day long. I was just making the wrong creative runs. There's the switch. Double R1. Try to add a little bit of pressure. He's going to switch back. If he does, he doesn't. So now we're going to press. Oh, we jumped. We jumped. So now I need to buy time. Now I need to buy time. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. And he just goes for a cross. No need. And uh, he makes improper pass. So we're patience. Here we got Odegaard on our back. Oh, I almost get that. If I win that right there, if I win this right here, this is a 50-50 chance. This is when a game becomes mechanical. If I if I just move just quick, because it's all happening quick, I get that out to Sané. Which, that, to be fair, if I'm playing in a pro tournament, I need to be faster there, and that's a goal. Like, that needs to occur. If I'm playing in a pro tournament, if I'm playing the pro scene, that, that has to be a goal. That's an opportunity. Uh, we're waiting. Did I get him? Yeah, we did. We did. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I did or not, and we did though. Um, so this is that power shot cancel, man. Was so effective. So right here, this is where this play comes in. Bang! Right here comes the rotation. We slide. We slide. We step. We step. We clog the interior. Clog the interior. Just get that wide. Patience. 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 Let him commit. Let him commit. There he commits. This is when I knew I got him. Right here, all the way to the striker. As the striker gets it. Now we're getting another trade. There's another trade. We fake outside that. And then right. <laughs> it's just as micro as detail as possible. Fake shot. We get him off on a weird position. He goes to the near post and we just finish right in the middle. So he was really expecting me to hit that uh, power shot. And so what that did is it took away his mechanics from thinking that he, I'm going to step to him actually move the keeper. So when he moved the keeper, it basically gave me free range to be able to cut back in. Um, very, very extremely mechanical there. But okay, so here comes the rotation. Watch the balls come right back down. Um, something I do need to get better at is player lock. I use creative runs. Creative runs essentially do relatively the same thing, but the passing is so good on player lock that like, if I want to get into a tight spot, it's almost better to like player lock it then R1X that, right? Than uh, to just R1X it. But sometimes it's a timing thing. So I need to get better at that. So now he's just trying to flip the flop the ball. This, I don't know who this guy is, but like he, he acts like he's, he's, he's utilizing all like he, he's clearly watches content. And he's literally was like all the pros. He's doing what he clearly can, he, he's conscious of what the pros do. Because all he's doing is he's playing the ball from side to side. He whips the ball in. He's hitting the finesse shots. He's hitting Travellas. He's hitting. Uh, he's trying to use uh, aerial balls. He's uh, he's trying to send the ball from uh, 
you know, he's trying to cross the ball to change the AI. He's doing a lot of stuff that's just very, like, very mechanical. So let's see here. There's the, there's that, that's that effort control touch, man. Dude, Timo Werner is just gnarly. So patience, patience, let him commit, let him commit. Where's the opening? There it is. One, two. There's Sané right into space. We're patience, we're patience, we're patience. Just taking the lane, taking the lane. Be patient, be patient, be patient. There it is. One, two, one more. Yes, double step back, and there it is. This is a clinical finish. This is one of my signature finishes. You take the ball here. You step right into this position. Not that anybody else does it, but a lot of people should do this. Is step right away. So, like, what happens is they're going this way. We go this way. That's why I call the whoosh effect. We break their crosshair. That allows a line that allows that angle right there, and bang. Every single time, almost every time, if they don't switch fast enough. So, right away, very consistent goal here. Very, this is, this is, guys, this is liquid football, right? We get the ball to the striker. We pull him out. We try to use that uh, that effort touch. No skill moves, really, right? Effort touch, maybe. We get all the way into a back pressing position. We wait for him to commit. We're soaking this pressure. I see his center mid is out. We play it right into that space. We attack that space, and that's exactly what happens. And then we see it shift. So we still see the momentum. All we're trying to do is manage momentum this way in between these guys. That's all we're trying to do. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Wait for him to commit. He commits. And then now what happens is now he committed four guys. And so now I'm one on one on one on one, one, two. And all I have to do is make one break. And that's what I'm betting on. I'm betting on a 1v1 break right there. And him, him applying that pressure with those midfield that heavy, that hard, that's what broke him. I hate playing Havertz, man. I, I hate playing Havertz. Havertz, to me, is almost like as good as a hullet. It's, it's such a weird card, man. There's that cross again. So now we're breaking, and I get sucked in. And so we break, and we get uh, we were able to recover, though. There's that Garnacho step. There's the touch that he's rotating out. So he's trying to, use, he's trying to utilize skill moves, but he's not being as efficient. Expecting, oh, held down R2 there, so it bounces out, but that's half. Okay, that's a tough one. Th th this guy's pretty good. I mean, he he's flip he's flip flopping the ball. He's sending it side to side. He's using it me mechanical exploits. He's doing literally everything he can um, to do what you know everything. He's basically doing. He's trying to do a little bit of everything. But um, you know, what I'm trying to say he's trying to do a little bit of everything. But all right, let's go. Um, but you have to be able to defend players like this. You don't necessarily need to be doing it. You don't necessarily need to play like them, but you need to learn how to defend it. The more efficient you are as a defender, the better you can, uh, the more clinical you can be against players like this. Now, you do have to be mechanically efficient as well. Here comes the rotation again. You see that? Oh, wait. That's uh, that's the same play. Whoop. Here's halftime. Do I, do I look at, do I look at halftime starts? I don't. Okay, here we go. One, two. Patience, 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 patience. There's a turn and rotation. Patience, 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 patience. There's the fake right to the striker getting locked in. We got him locked in. We got him on where we want him. There's the inside to creative run. The, the double move right back, and it's offside. So what I like to do here is I like to creative run inside. If he if he reads it, so what happens is if he reads that interior run and he runs with it, then I'll hit it again, and it'll go that way, and then I just feed the ball into that spot. And so I was a little bit off, right? Uh, but yeah, anyways. Okay, here we go. It drops down, drops down, watch out. He's got that full back open. There it is, and we're on it, though. Bang. Yeah, so he, he's literally, he's utilizing those mechanics as much as he possibly can. Oh, man, I don't get the turn on that. I run down solid because I have momentum. So this is a defensive tip for you guys that you guys could really utilize. But right here... What happens is uh, Rodri's going this way. So instead of switching here and then driving down, you're actually going to lose time. So instead, what I do is I actually just run Sawa into that spot to cover that lane. So I switch the rotation of those positions uh, relatively quickly. Big switch, big switch. Oh, we hit the long ball creative run right into the space. Patience, get him to commit, get him to commit, get him to commit. Is he committed? He is. Big rotation. One. One more. One, two. Ah, too fast. It's actually not too fast. I think I make the wrong uh, location. So, right? You look at this. Oh, man. Where? I don't know, man. I don't know. Dude, that's Saliba, though. 
I don't know about that. If I uh, if I hit it right into that spot, I think it goes. Salba, there's something weird about that Salba card, man. There's something weird. If there's two center backs I don't like playing, it's Salaba and Maldini. Salba and Maldini, I think, are the two best center back. Well, of course, DVD. But, dude, there's something weird about Salba and Maldini. Okay, here we go. We're patients. There's big ball. Yes. Hit. Now, patience, patience. Sane inside. Ah, oh, we just keep it wide. Ball roll away. Ball roll in. Returning. Patience. Oh, great play. Great play. Almost had it. Um, I'm just seeing that window open right there. And then what I need to do is I need a ball roll on this side. And instead, I just shoot. And he steps and shoots. So I want you to see this. This is a mechanical. So he steps. I shoot, right? It's just uh, what happens is that's a that's like a that's like a dead roll and roll to the keeper. If you guys uh follow my if you guys watch my video on like RNG mechanics and all that, uh, we are uh, I do want to talk about this though. We are coming out with a we are we will be dropping this my boot camp. Um, I'll be breaking down everything. So go from like beginner to pro and mastering uh different techniques understandings. I'm building it out right now. So if you guys want to know more, feel free to come by the Twitch live stream. Um, and I'll explain. I can Are you struggling to make Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. I can uh, explain that more. But yeah, I guess that's the foot alert. Check out foot alert. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to blow your ears off. Okay, here we go. Drive down. Drive down. Stay right there. Good. Bang. Right there. Wait into the passing lane. One, two. I'm looking for the Odegaard. Yes, we got it. Ah, we try to fake and we do. No. Okay, I do this one all the time. I do this one all the time. This is a master manipulation move. So basically, what does it look like is I'm going to obviously hit this play. And so then I don't. And what I need to do is I need to step over and I need to cut right there. And I just do a sprint touch. And oh, man. Oh, man. I tried to fake shot because I was going to pass it because I thought he was going to step. I was going to step. So I get I get switched. All right, I lose my mechanics technically. I lose my mechanics. So there's big rotation. Now I need to drive down, drive down, drive over. Stay right there. Okay, here comes the interior. He's coming onto the interior. Ah, uh, he barely passes it through. Step in, watch the interior, and we do, we do, we do. We cover both sides. We cover both sides. Force them wide. Now we got time. Now we got time. Now we can. Now we can kind of relax a little bit. Bang. There's the touch. Now step overs. Patience. Turn. Ball. Go. Let him go. Let him go. There it is. Make him commit. Make him commit. And we win the ball. Okay. Um, almost had a counterattack right there. That's a very effective counterattack. It's that movement. Bang, 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 bang. There's the fake. Two. One, two. Just waiting for him to commit. He doesn't commit. Ah, oh, dude. That's Saliba. You see this? Look at this. Here, this is a proper run. And then, Sal dude, like, Saliba's body position, like, for some reason animates to that. He gets the animation roll. So we see that my fullback's out. And so I actually am forcing him wide there. You see, I wanted him to go wide. I actually want him to go wide. I want him to go wide. There we go. We just pinch him again. And so it's like a fake. It makes him feel like he's being progressive. But realistically, it's just giving me time to set up my defense. So if you watch this, it's just a total manipulation. So it's really kind of a mind fuck. Because right now I've got my fullback forward. I've got him forward. And so I'm dragging uh, drug put down. We're going to try to cut that off. Now, if I was even better, I would be able to drag this over. But what I was worried about, so right there. And so now we just want to force him to the pinch. We want to pinch that wing. And so if you look at that, I'm just trying to get him to, uh, you see how I'm faking that position? I'm trying to get him to pass that. And he doesn't pass it. And then I just pull and I cover that interior. And that's all we have to do there. And we step him and he gets put into a bad situation. Now we just need to be patient. We just need to be patient. Patience. There it is. One, two. There's the step. There's the... Yes, one. Bang. Ah. Here comes the rotation. Ball is coming down. He's off. No, he's on. He's on. And we go near post. Okay, so I think we stay near post. Do I even move? I don't even move. I don't even move. I don't move. Um, when you're playing high-level players, mechanical players, they're expecting you to move the keeper. So a lot of the time... Oh, my God, dude. I'm telling you, the Salba card, bro, gives me the biggest 
trouble. Look at this. He's going the wrong way, but I pass it into him. But, dude, that's oh, so annoying, man. I, I really feel like if that's not Saliba, I think I get that through. It, it'd be very close because that mechanic. Just punch him to the width. Okay, so right now, I accidentally have my AI rotate. So instead of forcing a tackle here, I'm waiting for that AI to shift. Watch, watch, watch. I'm waiting for this shift. There's the shift, and now I can play a little bit better. So I know he's going to try to hit that, that finesse shot. You see that? I'm defending the finesse shot now. I see his rotation. And so now I'm waiting for that finesse. And that's what he's trying to set up. You see that? I'm in his head. I know he's looking for that finesse. Oh, man. Okay. So this is me trying to jump on Werner. Dude, he hits that right. He hits that right. He has to be so quick, though. He has to be so quick. I was ready for that. If he didn't hit it right there, I knew the outcome. So this is a tough defensive scenario. Basically, what I'm doing is as he rotates this, I shift up. So everybody's kind of shifting into this position. As he turns and rotates, now the ball is going to come this way. And I'm thinking it's going to go right here. There it is. One. And I'm expecting it to go here. And here. That's the common. This is, this is the tough. And so we, he still hits him, we still, but we have to step and turn. So he has to hit, he has to take like a perfect effort touch to be able to beat that. There's the oh, beautiful R1 dribbling face, patient, make him make the decision. Ah, dude. And barely. Dude, he has Rio and Saliba, man. Rio and Saliba. The two, two of the top like five center backs in the game. I'm rocking with my SBC and Honko right now, which they're good, but there are no Rio and Saliba. Okay, here we go. Patience. Let him come. There's the turn. There's the turn. Ah, I see. He's, he's making those nice steps. So we are too, though. We are too. Patience. 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 There it is. There's the incisive. Beat it. Very good decision there. Now it's open. All we had to do is be patient. Oh, there it is. No. It's so mechanical. It's super tight. So if you look at this, the tackle backs, right? There's a bunch of tackling. He's running into the wrong spot. We're being patient. We're being patient. This is what happens. We be patient. He steps that fullback. That fullback breaks his defensive line. So we're just trying to make him maneuver. I wasn't expecting him to jump like that. So I was actually expecting him to defend that, and I was going to cut back up. But he. that's why there's a pause here, and then I see it. That's me changing my decision. And so then I'm trying to take down the interior and he stepped, dude, that, uh, that Reese James, man, just like, look at, look at, look at Reese James body position. And then where he gets in rotation, dude, insane, absolutely insane. And so now I throw in Nkunku, Sancho, and Sh do I throw in Schuler? I don't think so. I have been using that Schuler card. Uh, we packed her, dude, and she's a monster. If you guys have her, um, it's like a better version of Eusebio now. That's why I like to think of it. It's like a team of the tots version of Eusebio. Oh, he gives it right to us. They're backwards creative run. Oh, they have double. Oh, man, we have to do doubles. Oh, dude, that is dirty, bro. That one is dirty. This is a dirty, dirty play um, when it comes to skill, I guess. So backward, so I'm using that sideways creative run. I'm trying to hit it. He doesn't follow it, which I thought he was going to follow it. So what I was looking to do is he was going to follow it. Then I was going to try to hit this down here. Um, and so I'm expecting him to go like that, or I'm expecting him to go like that. If that happens, that, you know, we, we just, we do that. But he doesn't. So what I do is I break that creative run back again. So I get him to commit. And it makes it look like I'm going to set up a shot. And so I don't, I pull it away and just perfectly timed first touch. Um, granted, I got the ball in a really nice position, but when you're playing, like when you're playing at this level, it's not always, it's like half the battle is getting the ball in the right spot. Like at different levels, if I'm playing even like a lower level player than this, like even an elite lower level, I can just get in the right spot. And that's almost, that's like, oh my, but you see this, it's like, that's half the battle. Like, I'm in the right spot here. Look at this. This should be, that should be straight through. But his animation comes in because of that jockey plus. So there's like so, there's so many little 
variable. I think he has Jockey Plus. Whatever animation, I have to look at that uh, Reese James. But bang, one, patience, patience. There it is. Get him to commit. There it is. Patience, get him to commit, get him to commit. There's the rotation right on the money there with Rodri. Am I going to, what am I going to do here? Is this it? Yeah, we just turn away. Ah, dude. And then Drugba, Drugba defends the goal. Oh, my gosh. Look at this pass, though. Dude, Rodri's passing is insane. I will say that. Rodri has some of the best passing stats. or He's the best passer I think I've used. I, I Seriously. Really, I think uh, he's, he's the best passer I think I've ever used in almost any FIFA. Odegaard's good, too. But, guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, please click on the next video. At least watch a few minutes. Put it up in the background. That really helps us grow. If we have helped you, if you learned something today, if you got any tips, help us grow. Because here's the thing, guys, if these videos don't do well, we're going to stop posting them. Hopefully they do well. Uh, keep us up. Keep us going. We'll see you guys tomorrow.